Today in our 2015 Toyota RAV4, we're going to be test fitting the Inno Aero roof rack system, consisting of part numbers IN XB100 and 108. These are going to be the Aero crossbars, 39 inches long and 42 inches long, and part number IN XS100. These are the Inno flush feet for the Aero crossbars. We have the front bar already installed on the vehicle. And this Inno Aero roof rack system is great for carrying a wide variety of accessories on your roof, such as bike racks, cargo baskets, or cargo boxes. It has this nice flush look to it, so it has a nice factory feel to it once it's installed. And also, it does have end caps that are already locked. So this is going to be secure to your roof rack, to your, excuse me, so this is going to be secure to your factory side rails once it's installed. Removing the end cap, you can see that we can utilize T-Track accessories with this roof rack system as well. And unlike most systems where you have to take out the strip, cut it to length, and put it back in, with this, you can simply push it down and slide your T-Track accessory into place. The bars do have a general aerodynamic shape to them, and that coupled with that rubber strip in the center is going to help cut down wind noise and drag while you drive, eliminating the need for extra fairings that you would have to buy aftermarket, say, for square or round bars. And this is very easy to install. It simply wraps around your existing factory raised side rails and tightens into place. We have the front one installed. Let's go ahead and show you how the rear one goes into place. We have it partially assembled on our table here. And we'll move forward by flipping our bar first upside down because it's going to make it a little bit easier to install. And then we're going to take our Inno flush foot and install it on the other end. You can see these two tabs at the top here. This lines up with this section here of our bar. So you just push that in place, and then push out, like so, and now it's ready to install on the vehicle. So this is a very easy installation process. One thing to know also with our bars is they are labeled left or right, so you know which side goes on which. Wrap it up underneath here. Do the same on the other side. And so really the only measurement we have to worry about with this roof rack system is going to be the crossbar spread, and that's from center to center. You want to make sure that's even on both sides, and you want to make sure you don't go under 24 inches. What I like to do is I go by the accessory that I'm hauling and go by its recommendations, because you'll find those in the instructions of those usually. And an advantage to having this style roof rack, especially with the side rails, is you can adjust these roof racks back and forth as necessary. So if your hatch isn't clearing the accessory that you are hauling, you may be able to shift these forward to make that happen. With everything measured out, now we can take our strap here, put it underneath into the catch here, like so, and we'll take our integrated tightening tool and tighten it down. That's a pretty decent advantage as well. A lot of other roof racks will have separate tools to tighten these down. This, everything is one piece. Get it nice and tight. And then our final step is to put our end caps in place and lock them down. We'll just line it up. Make sure the right one's going on the right side. Lock that down. Repeat this for the other side. And then we're going to be ready to load up our gear and hit the road. One other measurement, or at least a couple measurements I'd like to give beforehand though, it's going to be from the center of the roof to our bar. And that's going to give you an idea of how far this sits above your side rails. From the center of the roof to the bottom of the bar is going to be 3 and 7 eighths. And from the center to the top, it's going to be about 4 and 3 quarters of an inch. So that's more than enough space for those accessories that wrap around your bars instead of use the T-Track accessories where they're not going to come in contact with your roof and cause any damage. 
Also, if you have a sunroof on your RAV4, you should still be able to use that as well. These bars do have a 165 pound carrying capacity between the two of them, but you always want to double check with your vehicle's manual to make sure your roof can take those weights and go by the smaller of the two numbers. And there you have it for the Inno Aero Roof Rack System on our 2015 Toyota RAV4.